Melanie C. was in the third heavenly realm in the city of Jonaquay. The eternal realm of glory. Cherubim Daniel Thomas Andrew Daly was with her. They were on the outskirts of the city of Jonaquay <coughs> in a quiet suburb in front of a, uh, a portal, a doorway portal. Let us enter, said Daniel, who was dressed in fighting fantasy guard. You think you're a warrior, do you, said Melanie C., a hero. You've got me dressing like Red Sonia. Is there a reason, said Melanie C.? Let us go forth and conquer. They went through the portal and came into a new world. This is Olo Milan, said Daniel soberly. It's grim and it's gritty and it's sarcastic. It is permanently attached to the realm of glory. It is a foster child, as it were, a new fantasy world which has been in in action in in uh, operation for a while now. Melanie, see, we are going to a place. To see the Ventagon. <sighs> they visited the Ventagon. It was exciting, said Melanie. It was of a voice that they visited. Daniel could never remember much from his studies on core details which the Father of Glory had supplied to him. <clears throat> but they were on all on the land. And it was a uh, cold at the moment. They found some warm clothing at a shop which dangled with his gold coinage, which the owner of the shop gave him a dubious look about said, fine. Bought some warm clothing and they bought some questionable hot food. <sighs> Is this rabbit? said Manly C. You can never tell in Alamo my land, said Daniel. But this is a world we are to explore slowly and meet the inhabitants and um, gradually bring the nexus into connectivity with the realms of glory. Sounds like fun, says Melanie C. A queen of a new dominion. <sighs> Maybe one day, said Daniel.